This is Talia's room. Basically, it's somewhat the way she left it before she passed away. Um, some things are different, some things are added. She wanted to change her room around and she wanted more storage for her makeup. So we started with this. She did get to see the very first part of it when she came home uh, one day in April. So she did not get to see the completed um, other drawers that we did add for her. We were trying to make this hurry up and happen for her, but unfortunately she did not get to see it. This is the cover girl picture, the original one that Ellen gave to Talia when she was on the Ellen show. And Ellen asked Talia to be her correspondent on the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas. They actually took the original picture that was on the Ellen show, brought it to Las Vegas, and that's where Talia had the celebrities um, interview and ask them to sign, sign her picture. And she interviewed Ryan Seacrest, Deborah Lovato, um, Gwen Stefani, and no doubt Miley Cyrus, and many others. And then she asked them after each interview if they would sign her cover girl picture, which they did. And then the second night she was supposed to do it again, but unfortunately she got sick and ended up in the hospital. And um, she was supposed to interview Jonas Brothers and Taylor Swift and Steven Tyler and many others, but they were kind enough to sign her cover girl picture. And then this cover girl picture was actually taken back to the Ellen studio where Ellen herself signed it for Talia. Now we're going to show you some various gifts from fans. This is a doll that was actually made to replicate Talia and what she was wearing one day when we went to Disney. And she has makeup is my wig painted on her head. We have so many beautiful paintings. Just keep swimming with the lipstick from a fan. And to the left of it, there's a beautiful picture. It's a replica of her um, picture that everyone has seen on Instagram and Facebook. And then on the bottom, we have pictures of Talia that we actually used during her tribute and her, her memorial service. And over to the right, there's another fan art up there that someone made for Talia. Here we have a beautiful bowl of rocks. They were given to Mattia and I when we were asked to come up to Baltimore uh, at the CoverGirl headquarters. That's when we had an unveiling of Talia's picture, which is in their uh, headquarters permanently which was so touching, all these staff members were asked to put a special word on the rock that they felt inspired by Talia. So a lot of them put uh, inspiration and joy and uh, hope and just different words um, on the rocks and it just symbolizes um, the words that describe Talia. Okay, we all know Talia left her brushes as, just as much as she left her makeup. A fan actually gave her the little containers that they're in. You know, they're just beautifully displayed and she touched every one of these and used every single brush. This is the table that Ellen and CoverGirl gave Talia when she was on the Ellen show. This was like so important to her. And everything that you see, all the makeup that's in the containers have not been touched. Um, I have cleaned it up a little bit. And those necklaces that she loved hanging there, they're still there. Picture up there, Makeup Is My Wig, was taken by a very good friend of ours in his studio. And that was a gift from him. And I keep it right above her CoverGirl makeup table. 
This is a collection of different things. Um, Talia loved, loved perfumes, body lotions. Um, so you'll see a lot of perfumes on the shelves. A couple items that some fans gave us. You'll see an angel up there, an award that she won from school. And all the way up on the tip top is some of her jewelry that she loved and watches that um, she received. The red bottle is Talia's favorite perfume that her favorite nurse gave her and she just absolutely loved the smell of it and her nurse surprised her one day and got her the bottle of perfume so that was very dear to her. So now we go on her dresser and there's uh, pictures of her when she was little, a little collage. An award that she won in um, 2013 was given to her. And then her cake. This cake was at her tribute uh, on August 18th. Tally would have been 14 years old and she wanted her next thing to be Paris since the last thing was um, Las Vegas so this thing was Paris. So on the top you'll see a little French poodle kind of like you know Bella and this is very special this was in 2007 during Talia's stem cell transplant that all her doctors and nurses signed for her and it's very special to us it was actually a, a rebirth because she got her stem cells back in so that's special and there's a picture of my dad and Talia there and if you see the little boat if you guys kind of remember she uses that boat in one of her videos so that's cute I'll leave that up there and behind that is a little picture of um, a little dog actually wrote that up designed that drew that with his paw and Talia's first love up there and a poem that he wrote for her This is Talia's famous egg chair. I know a lot of you probably seen the videos where she's sitting in there and um, making videos, listening to music. She loved that chair. And so what I did is I just took all her stuffed animals that she had in the hospital during her last three months and I put them all in the chair. This painting was actually made by Natalie Irish and she's called the Kissing Artist and it's done with her lips and lipstick which is absolutely amazing and it just captures Talia so beautifully. And this collage was done by Tammy and we had it at her tribute. It's actually much longer. It goes all the way down to the floor but it has all the wonderful pictures of Talia and her crazy silly things faces and just a wonderful collage of Talia. And this is Talia's bed. If you did notice, I did change the comforter. I did not get or get rid of the comforter. I still have it. I just wanted to preserve it and make sure that nothing happened to it. So that's why I put this one on. And But the pillows, the sequent pillows are the same. The pink is the same and the real pretty pillow that lights up, that was given to her by a special friend who also battled cancer, but is doing great now. So this concludes Talia's room tour. I hope you liked it and stay tuned. The next video we're gonna do what's inside Talia's drawers and closet. Thank you for watching and love you all.